hey guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel it's your girl bridgie how you guys doing i hope you're doing well today thank you very much for joining me if you have not yet subscribed please come to that subscribing a lot of people are watching without subscription without subscribing it is absolutely free of charge youtube does not charge you so i know some africans want to get subscription our <laughs> Our hair will quickly stand up because we think it's about payment. This is not DSTV, it's not Sky. This is YouTube and the subscription is zero. It's, it's free of charge. So support me by subscribing. It is absolutely free. Thank you so much. So today I want to talk about a very, very sensitive yet very, very important issue. Very, very sensitive yet very, very important because a lot of times I'm sitting here, you know, talking about relationships, talking about men, African men, they did this, they did that, they did that. <laughs> Some African men hate my guts. <laughs> oh, they really do. <laughs> ah, you know, but um, it comes with the territory because at the end of the day, nobody wants to be the one that is, is blamed or is at fault for anything. But it is what it is we'll call it as we see it and sometimes it might not be favorable to a certain uh, gender it's not like we are being you know discriminatory towards a certain gender or anything like that it's just it's issue specific that's all i can say it's case by case <laughs> oh dear so today we're talking about women women and this brother said the wife is driving him mad like properly mad because of not not because of anything he has done or what he has failed to do just because she is so so insecure she is so so insecure about every single thing and he said it's gotten to a point whereby he's you know he's just he wants to just give up because it's like there's no point if there's no trust uh, at least somebody cannot even try to manage their insecurity and whenever he's, she sees him talking to a girl he's dating that girl you know he's dating all his uh, colleagues that are females uh, female he's is you know hi there did you know that this week for this week and this week only send wave is giving out ten dollars ten pounds ten euros ramadan giveaway as an additional top up when you send money using Sendwave app. So if you have not used the Sendwave app before, download it quickly now. It's available on the app store and it's on Play Store as well. And set up Sendwave is quick and fast. Put all your details in, and if you transfer fifty dollars or fifty pounds, you get ten pounds added for the first time. Remember, it's only for Ramadan. This week, Ramadan and Ramadan only. And the cost to use to get that additional £10 is Obodo, O-B-O-D-O. -O -O. Hurry up while it lasts. Send wave. So I was in there. This is what I was told. This is what he said, that his marriage was already having problems before they started dating. Now, they are dating now. Marriage is gone. He's trying to start his life all over again, he said. He cannot even stay with her because they fight so much that he had to completely move out of London to run away from this environment completely to go outside and side to be very, very far. He said that this woman is so insecure that it is driving him mad. Like, if he's on the phone talking, he's standing there to listen to who she's talking to. The minute he drops the phone, maybe goes to go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen, he's checking to see who he was talking to. And it's, I said, are you sure that you've not given her any reason why she should distrust you? Or she's not caught you doing anything that you should do? You know, he said, you know what? He has not really, he has not given her any reason. He's not done anything that he shouldn't be doing. But at this point, he's, 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 he's gotten to a point whereby he, he doesn't want, he's not even interested anymore. So I started looking at it and started thinking, what will make a woman, a professional woman, this woman is a solicitor. What will make her to be so insecure? She's not a young girl. She's not somebody that's in her 20s or her 30s. She's an elderly, middle-aged woman. I would say she's in her, maybe, if not late 40s, she should be in her 50s. She will be in her 50s if she's not 50 already from my... 
I was asking her, I said, what, what, what happened to her? The, I mean, there must be something that's happened to this woman in the past, whether by what you've done or what, you know, she's experienced in another relationship. But there's definitely something that has made her to be so insecure to a level that she's, she's ready to kill somebody with this woman. Who, she's ready to kill somebody like the madness. <sighs> This is the way I see it. Let me just put my opinion because I want to make it very brief. This is the way I see it. This is where I always think in my mind. In anything that, you know, gives me anxiety or that I'm worried about, I always think, what's the worst that can happen? That's what I always ask myself. So, in this lady's situation, what's the worst that can happen? Yes, the relationship, they have it. It's not good. And then it ends. Life goes on. It's not the end of the world. That it ends is not the end of the world. You can still move on with your life. You are not. You, there's not an. You did not come to, into this world with the same biblical cord. Even twins that came into this world at some point they separate and everybody will go their own way. So, what is the why? Why the attachment, unhealthy attachment that is driving this woman nuts, that is behaving like a psycho, around him? They had an issue. The guy told me that they had an issue. They are fighting because of her insecurity again because she accuses everybody around him that you know he's sleeping with them you know and they had a fight a very huge fight do you know what this woman did she decided to go and throw him a birthday party <laughs> she decided to go and throw him a birthday party spent a lot of money cooked invited people got a hall got dj got everything bought drinks and everything so i was like if you had issues then why are you doing birthday party why are you celebrating he was like you know what he took the grace of God and people who knew who know them to come and beg him that day for him to attend the birthday party. He didn't want to come because she made it. She wanted to make it seem as if things are okay with them, that they are cool, their relationship is okay. But they, they just had a huge fight that you know they've not even reconciled. They've not even settled. They've not even talked about anything. You know what led to the accusations and everything she said to him about how she's dating every human, every girl, every woman that is on skirt and trousers and jeans or whatever around him. And then you decide to do birthday party. I mean, it's all so twisted. Thinking about it, because you are fighting, things are not good. The relationship is is a uh, is a uh, up and down. Next thing, birthday party. So people will come to the party and say, "Oh, uh, yo, you you are happy." You are ha I don't know why do women do this to themselves though. Why do we do this to ourselves? That you just it's all about what people will say. You know, keeping up that appearance so that you will seem as if you are happy. When inside you know that you and this bubble. Is fight every day. You are fighting seriously. So my question is: this insecurity, this deep insecurity. Why? What? 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 What brings it about? Why would a woman be so insecure in herself that she does not even have confidence in herself? That you know, if he decides to step out or he doesn't want the relationship anymore, it's not the end of my life. Let him go. You know, we're not born together. I've been in another relationship before I met him, and I can also have other relationship. He's not. This is not the end of my life. I feel like until we come to, as women, until we come to that, you know, position whereby we are so confident in ourselves, in whatever relationship that you have that, you know, it's not a do or die that, oh, if this guy leaves me, I'm going to end it. Then you will have peace because trust me, and you should see, it's a, this woman is a very, very pretty lady, but you see her now because, because it's a full-time job being a, a detective. It's a full-time job, snooping around emails. Checking his computer, checking phone, doing that, following him to see who he's talking to, who is greeting, who is not greeting, who is in it. It's a full time job that will wear you out. You will just drop one day and they'll be asking, What happened? You've killed yourself because of a man. You have just killed yourself, Auntie. So, all, all this for what? What is the end game of this detective work that you are doing? FBI and CIA that you are doing, investigating. And investigating and investigating what is it for so that you have evidence and then when you have the evidence or you have proof eventually let's say that he's even doing something that he's not meant to be doing and you eventually have proof what do you do with it are you going to sue him to court is there some compensation he's going to pay you is there some i mean what i mean what's he going to do what's he going to solve so this level of insecurity if you're one of those women that's out there that is so insecure about yourself 
then I think it's something you need to work on yourself. Maybe it's something that's happened to you in your childhood or it's something somebody has said to you in previous relationship or you are just somebody that lacks confidence if that's where the insecurity is coming from. But whatever I think, I feel like it is really, really unfair to be dumping that level of insecurity on, on, on somebody else. Nobody can take it. Nobody will be able to take consistent interrogation, investigation and just following somebody around, you know, just feeling like you're under scrutiny 24 hours. You, you, you too, you're not tired. Are you not tired of being a, a detective? You're not tired? Ah, I don't know. For some ladies, they really have the energy to do it too. But me, I don't have the time. I don't have the energy. And I don't really care enough to go and do things like that, to be fully, fully, fully. Because like I said, I always ask myself the bottom line question. And the bottom line question is, what's the worst that can happen? You're in a relationship. You don't have kids together. You have your own kids from a previous relationship. He has his own kids from a previous relationship. Now you're together. If it doesn't work, everybody go their own. You go your own. Life continues. Life is beautiful. Many people out there go out there, socialize, enjoy your life, live your life fully. Your life is not tied to a man. It's not. I don't know why some women always feel like, you know, this man is a do or die affair. If it's not him, I will die. You will not die. Nothing will happen to you. If the man dies today, you're going to die and follow him. Will you enter the grief and say, uh, undertaker, bury us together? Hmm? See, you know, it can never ever happen. You become very, uh, you say, oh, you're crying, oh, you're crying, oh, somebody dies, say, oh, I'm crying, oh, I'm crying, I'm crying, oh, uh, bury me, bury me with the person. No, you can't jump into the grave. No matter the cry that you cry, you cry and clear your face, and the person that is dead will be buried. That's just the long and short of it. So, I don't know. This brother, I really don't know what to say. That's why I brought it here to come and talk to you guys about some of you who are experienced and you know where this comes from and what can be gained from it or how somebody can learn or unlearn some certain attitudes and behavior that are destructive. Because such behavior to me is really, really destructive. It doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you that is doing it. It doesn't help the person that you are doing it to. So there's really no point in doing it. But you find that women like this cannot stop. They cannot stop. Imagine going to church. A church. It says it's a new church. They've never been to that church before. They just went there to go and you know do service. Next thing she starts fighting another woman that she does not know before, just because the woman said she likes how the man is dancing. Le baton. You try fighting. Ah. Come bell. You come bell giddy giddy. So if you are that kind of a woman that is doing that, <clears throat> see eh, this life eh, there is only one life. Even the Bible says it that is appointed unto man to die once. After that, judgment. There's only one life. If you go and kill yourself because uh, you have a relationship or you have a husband who you feel like, oh, I don't want him to cheat. I don't want him to do another thing, to talk to another woman. You go and kill yourself. When you die, even your burial girl, he will bring another girlfriend. He will bring a girlfriend to your funeral. He will bring a, fun a girlfriend to your funeral. Remember the story I shared last year about that uh, on Kubayo that uh, one woman was saying in Nigeria that when the antifumi that he was dating died, he brought a girlfriend. If you've not seen that video, it's still on my channel. I'm going to link it at the end of this video. Take a look at other women's experiences so you can learn. Because sometimes, <laughs> it's better you borrow yourself sense because before it is too late. He brought a girlfriend to the, 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 the woman's funeral. So don't go and lose your life and lose your head and sanity because of he might or something he might be doing or may not be doing. If he's doing it, then you have a decision to make. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, I'm going to leave you here in you guys' court. Leave me your thoughts. What do you think is responsible for this level of high insecurity? Women who are so insecure that, you know, they will become like crazy in their quest to find what he's doing, what he's not doing, who he's talking to, who he's calling him, who is, you know, in his car, who is in his workplace and all that shenanigans. Let me know what you think is responsible and how people can overcome if you have any experiences regarding women who are insecure. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.